Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Sugar and Sprinkle. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make puto cassava or puto balanghoy. And for all the list of the measurement on this video or the recipe on this video, please check the description box below. And for the ingredients, we are going to need, of course, the grated cassava. I use this kind. It's also the same. I got this at Walmart. And also, you're going to need uh, brown sugar. And this is going to be for the filling or the toppings. And if you want to know how to make this, I am also going to leave a link in the description box below. And so now, we're going to squeeze out all the juices of the cassava using a cheesecloth. And you want to squeeze the juices out as much as you can. And after squeezing all the juices out in the cassava, now we're going to have to start breaking them apart. And it should be look like this. And so now, we're going to add in our brown sugar. And then using your hand, just mix it in. And so for the mold, I am using this um, can from Tuna. And I poke holes through it so the steam can go inside. And I have a two way of putting the the filling and this is gonna this is the first one. So as you can see I just put a little bit of the mixture in it and then I add in the filling. And then you're gonna add more of the cassava mixture. And just lightly push it. Don't put too much pressure. And just like that. And so now we're going to steam this uh, medium high heat for about 30 to 35 minutes until your um, Puto cassava will look like this and let it set for about 10 minutes before removing it. So with a spatula, just loosen the edge so it will be easier for the puto cassava to come out from the mold. So I'm going to show you what the inside look like on this one. So the second one is we're going to put the filling first. So when we take out the our puto cassava, it's going to look like it has toppings. So first steps is you're going to put in the filling first. You can put as much as you want or as less as you want. And then you're going to fill it in with the cassava mixture. And also the same, you're going to steam this for 30 to 35 minutes. The same heat medium and after steaming it this is what it looks like 
and let, like I said you have to let it sit for 10 minutes so it won't be too hot to handle so like what we did for the first one is just with a spatula just loosen the, the edge And this is what it looks like. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. We'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.